So I'm going to see about making uh, some primitives, uh, geometric primitives, that uh, Revit has never really had a catalog of flexible geometric primitives. We've had masses that you can load, but there's a lot of limitations to this. So I'm going to see what we can do with an adaptive component. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do a sphere first. And I'm going to do a sphere by two points where you're going to place the center and then place the outside of it. And that's what these two points are going to represent. So I'm going to select both my points. I'm going to make them adaptive. And I'm going to connect them with the spline by points. And I'm going to make them a reference line. And what I want to do is I want to basically create a, a relationship between these two where it'll control the radius. So that's going to be a dimensioned parameter. And I'm going to do it on the reference plane of that line and from adaptive point to adaptive point. And then I'm going to select that dimension. I'm going to add a parameter to it. Whoops, add parameter. It's going to be an instance. It's going to be a reporting parameter. And we'll call it radius. And then let's see how to do this. Then we're going to draw a circle on the work plane of point one. And I'm just going to put it out here somewhere. And if I select this and I make the radius on it permanent, I can select that dimension and I'm going to make that. And call it R, the radius of that circle. It's also going to be an instance parameter. Now if I go in and I set that R to be the value of radius, now it'll snap to position so that when I change this dimension, the circle will change with it. And uh, just to sort of preview this, you can load it into the project and you can see now you've got a circle that flexes. And the other things that you can do with this, the other things that you can do with this are now you can actually make a, a parameterized circle that could have some interesting effects. Let's see. I'm going to grab that family. Oops. Generic model. There it is. Family 2. I'm going to host one point. Actually, what's this going to do? Host one point there and the other point there. And you can see my circle. And if I change this, yeah, so it's flexing with it. Not quite flexing right, though. And I see. It isn't, it uh, doesn't need to stay parallel to this, so there's some funny relationship going on here. I can change that, too. If I want, I can make this actually a shape handle point. Going in here, and rather than a placement point, make it a shape handle point. And I'm also going to constrain it to the plane of this guy. And that'll just give it slightly different behavior. See, now it's staying in plane with that one point. It's hosted over here. So if I go and change this, there, that seems to be a bit more sensible. Okay, but in the end, what we want it to do is we want it to be a sphere, right? So let's go back in here. Let's select that. Let's create a form from it. Pick the sphere. Load it back into the project. And now we should have a fully configurable sphere that you can host to other elements. We can do the same thing that we did before. We've got two lines, and I'm going to host my family to it. Like, oh, there's my point. It's kind of a hassle not being able to do that as a placement point, but you can still do the same things that you wanted to do. Like so. Select that, and it flexes. And um, 
guess we'll do another one later on with uh, rectangles or pyramids and see what else we can do.